Allow me to introduce you Primary Wave Music by way of a brief history lesson. I hope you brought your number two pencils because I'm about to take you to school. There once was a man named Larry in charge of someone else's very large record company. One day, Larry said to himself, Self, screw this, I want to start my own music company. He called up some friends, raised enough money to make Solomon blush, and proceeded to buy as much music catalog as one could buy with what was in fact about the sum GDP of the entire nation of Belarus. And there you have it, Primary Wave is born in the temperate spring of 2006. In the years that follow, Primary Wave acquired music catalogs with exceptional vigor. You name it and it was theirs. John Lennon, Hall & Oates, Earth, Wind & Fire, Def Leppard, Steven Tyler, Chicago. Oh, I love Chicago. What's that one song called? How does it go? Uh, da na 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 da na 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 ba na ba na Oh, no, what? Oh, sorry, yes. Back to the story. Um, fast forward to 2010 and the Primary Wave team has a plan to shake things up. They pose the question, why be just a music publisher? Why not service our existing artists and get even more clients by providing branding, marketing and talent management services? And so Primary Wave did, creating three new divisions that year. In the years that followed, these divisions have serviced more A-listers than a bartender at a Grammy after party. And as Primary Wave made waves in the music industry, some of these waves spilled over at home. In 2016, Larry's apartment flooded into an unknown neighbor's apartment below. This neighbor turned out to be Bill. The universe works in weird ways. Bill was in the fun business, and after the two sailed to safety, Larry had a proposition. Let's start a fund. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> See what I did there? And so it was. Primary Wave Investment Management was born and an acquisition spree ensued. And since then it went from raining water to raining profits and returns. There was no stopping Primary Wave like an energy drink tsunami. With their history, credibility and out-of-the-box marketing ideas, the icons in the biz were suiting up and grabbing their surfboards, ready to ride this rising tidal wave. Not and not just publishing rights too, master recordings, name and likeness, estate management, film production. Holy mackerel, Bert Bacharach, this is a unique company. Bob Marley, Whitney Houston, Prince, James Brown, Ray Charles, Stevie Nicks. Quite literally the greatest of all time. <laughs> the competition looked on with shock and awe as the home of legends was born. In 2022, Primary Wave welcomed their new partners, Brookfield, CAA and Oak Tree. And the wave just keeps on growing. There you have it, you're up to speed on the story of Primary Wave. More twists and turns than an M. Night Shyamalan movie. But that's enough blattering from me, let the music do the talking.